Hello, hello, Instagram TV, Instagram fam. This is one of the most difficult videos that I think I'll ever make, and I don't really know where it's going to go, but I'm going to trust and pray that from a grounded, sovereign space, because I have been off of Instagram for the last few days, um, really coming back into my own energy, really coming back into my own sovereignty, really honoring my body and, and her wisdom and her capacity, I am going to try to speak and try to channel this through. And it's going to be brief, or at least I hope so. Um, but I have to say something. And I, I owe it to you as my audience, as my community, as my Instagram family, as you know, friends and clients and previous clients and people that I admire and that I respect and that I, that I love. Um, I owe you an apology. And this apology will not be welcomed by everyone. And this apology will be assumed um, by other people about what it means. And that's yours to, to deal with. It's not mine. Um, this apology is from my heart and from my soul and from my spirit of, I am so sorry that I blindly followed the majority think for the last week. and. I am so sorry that as a leader who preaches and who embodies and who practices and who lives from a space of really, you know, honoring each of our individual truths and each of our individual sovereignties and each of our individual wisdom and our body's cues and our intuition and our own power, I didn't practice that after everything happened with George Floyd. And I ended up deleting my post. And I ended up deleting my social justice highlight and not because I don't agree with some of the things that I said. Um, bottom line, how George, Floyd, how George Floyd died was completely not okay. And I think as every single fucking human being on this planet can agree, collectively, it's like the one thing we can all agree on, how he died was horrendous. It was not okay. And justice needs to be served and, that, and those cops need to be taken care of. And we need to have better mental health figured out. And we need to have police reform and we need to have abso fucking lootly. Like there needs to be better training. We need to have better accountability. We need to have, you know, better anti-racist work inside of the police, the police force and, and all of that. Absolutely. Um, but when all of this went down, I just, I, as a millennial, <laughs> like many other millennials, we get our information from social media alone and social media follows a narrative. And it doesn't mean that that's not certain people's truths. It doesn't mean I disagree with everything on social media because I sure as hell don't. There are a lot of things I agree with on social media. I utilize social media. I love social media. I speak my truth on social media. Does it resonate and agree with, does everyone agree with it? No. And that's okay, right? Each of us has our own individual truths through our own lenses, through our own trauma, through our own, ex, you know, perceptions, through our own experiences, through our own processes. And it's beautiful. The world works on polarity. That's how our universe operates. And so there's going to be diversity in every single topic that we talk about. But what I did was I betrayed that. And I just like went with what celebrities that I, you know, had respected were saying and what leaders that I respected were saying and what mentors that I have hired were saying. And I just like went with, I went and I like literally like I, you could call it brainwash, mind control, um, whatever. I, I take full responsibility. It was my, it's my cross to bear. It's my shit to deal with. It's, it's my own shit. But I didn't pause to critically think for myself. I didn't unhook and come back into my own energy. I didn't discern what felt right in my body. I didn't listen to both sides of, of this experience and of, of the story. I just went one way and I zoomed in on that and I went, what is social media saying? And I completely just like threw out all of what I know to be true and all of what, you know, I feel in my body and I threw it all out the fucking window. And I am so sorry for that because that is not what I preach. And so many of you have come to me saying that you watch me as an example of what to do in controversial, in, in really intense situations like this where we're being asked to speak up. And again, while I stand by some of what I was saying and what I was posting, I don't you know regret all of it. There's more to the story than 
social media is sharing. And while I agree, what's going on right now is a humanity issue and equality is absolutely fucking necessary and we will fight for that. There is also more to the story. And so personally for me, why I'm sharing this is to apologize and to encourage you to zoom out, unhook, come back into your body, come back into your truth, come back into, I've been clearing my throat chakra literally all day. Whew, she's fiery. I'm so nervous right now because I'm just praying. I know I'm saying something fucking wrong and someone's going to have an issue with it, but this is, this is my truth and this is what I'm sharing. Um, unhook and come back into your own energy, back into your own sovereignty, back into your own body and discern from there. What is your role to play here? What is your truth here? Um, you know, what, what are you hearing? Where are you getting your information? Is it from a celebrity? Is it from one mentor? Is it from your parents? Is it from your church? Is it from your politics party? Is it from your, you know, um, whatever it might be. Zoom out, research and look into and, and ask powerful questions. Be curious. That's what I've been doing. I'm not judging. I am not, you know, who's right and who's wrong. I'm not, I'm not trying to pick a side. I'm literally listening. The majority of who is on social media that I follow would consider themselves liberals. I personally have been a liberal. I've been a conservative. I've been everything in between. I have values on both sides. I don't necessarily fall into a certain camp. But I recognized I was only listening to a liberal point of view. So what I did is I zoomed out. I unhooked and I looked at what is the conservative side have to say about this? What are black conservatives saying? As I was listening to black liberals, I was listening to black conservatives. I was listening to black people who consider themselves in the middle, who don't necessarily say I'm conservative or I'm liberal, but here's my experience. I was watching videos and watching interviews and listening to podcasts and reading and, and researching and making sure I wasn't just looking at a one side, you know, point of view. I was looking at all angles. I was having conversations with the ma majority of people who are in all different parties and all different places and have all different experiences and have all grown up differently and really finding what resonated with me from that space. Now, I'm not here to tell you what to believe. I am not here to tell you my opinions. I'm sure that will eventually come out because at fuck, I am fired up about this, but that's not what this is about. I am not a political coach. I am not an anti-racism educator. I am not a social justice activist. I am not any of those things. So even if we disagree, I can still be your coach. If you feel safe with me, if you feel drawn to my energy, I am a firm believer that your truth is your truth. It's the same reason I speak out about myself exiting evangelical Christianity. I have friends who are consider themselves Christians. I've gone to church after I've exited the evangelical Christianity. I don't have a problem with us having differing beliefs. I just know no one can tell me what my truth is. Only I can decide that. And as I speak about that, or I speak about sexual shame, or I speak about, you know, my own experience, I'm sharing from that space. And you don't have to agree with me for me to be able to coach you. Coaching is powerful. Questioning, reflective, listening, holding space, mirroring helping you uncover your own process, helping you really tap into what feels right and true and aligned for me. It's not me projecting or interjecting my shit onto you. Now, this is my platform. I very well may get to that point where I do so. And if I lose people, it's disappointing, but it's to be expected. Not everyone has the capacity to hold space for the both and to hold space for those who disagree with them. I'm very well aware of that. Um, it's been like that my entire life. I grew up in a very political, opinionated, um, very loud, very like love a deep conversation, love a deep dive family. Um, no one asks <laughs> what my parents think because everyone just knows. Um, and I, I personally love that. Even if we have friends and family who disagrees, like we love just sitting around the table over some really good food and good wine and like having a conversation about that. So um, if it came to that point, I don't care. I find it fascinating. Now, I will say if we are in conversation, there will be respect. And the second you throw fucking daggers at me, I'm done. And I shut down and I'm like, nope, I don't have to deal with that. Um, however, respectful conversation I'm totally down for. I'm also willing to evolve. 
What I believe to be true today could be different a year from now. In fact, it's always evolving. And I'm the only one that can decide what my truth is. You are the only one that can decide what your truth is. Do I believe that this country needs work? Yes. Do I believe black lives matter? Yes. Do I believe that black stories need to be heard? Yes. Do I believe that there needs to be reform in our systems and our police force? Yes. Do I believe, like make your assumptions and twist my words however you may, your shit, not mine, but just encouraging you, look at all angles, listen to multiple points of view, zoom out, get off of social media, turn off the news and listen and be willing, have an open mind, soften your body, ground in, energetically lock, and just witness, just listen, and see what comes through for you. Discern what's true in your body. And if you don't know how to do that, that's the work that I do. Please reach out to me, I'm happy to support you in that. Um, But I'm just noticing a lot of us blindly following I'm noticing a lot of us projecting onto other people our own shit because we're not taking time to unhook and come back into our own energy. I'm watching a lot of us perpetuate trauma through shaming and through criticizing and through um, publicly stoning people and putting them on blast and, and doing this whole cancel culture thing. I just don't think it has to be that way. This is a movement. This is a revolution. This will take time. This will be ongoing. I believe that really and truly, like we are healing this now because we have the capacity, we have the skill set for so many of us to start to heal this generational trauma and break the fucking cycle so it ends here so that our kids' kids' kids like can grow up in a world that doesn't have this divide. But if we let it, we will be divided now. If we let it, if we continue to listen to the news and we don't think for ourselves, we will be fucking divided. There's more I could go on about that. Um, there's so much at play here. And I'm not going to get into that, but there are greater forces at play. And I think it's really, really, really important now more than ever. I mean, we're in the age of Aquarius. We are, we are in this beautiful um, season of fucking truth coming out, veils being lifted, shit burning down. I mean, it needs to happen. This is how new worlds are created. This was, this was the way. We need to listen to our black brothers and sisters now more than ever. We need to heal our own trauma and our own shit. We need to do our work. Um, but also remembering you're not a problem because you're white. You're not. Be aware, do your work. But you're not something that's broken that needs to be fixed. You're still allowed to be in your joy. You're still allowed to be in your pleasure. This is a both and, you guys. The world works on polarity. There is a both and here. We are holding collective outrage and anger, and we can still hold space for our joy. Um, Andrea said it perfectly, and I'll, I'll tag her because I, I don't know the, her last name. And I don't know um, the exact quote, but she talks about be careful in our fight against oppression, that we're not dismantling our own humanity, that we're not foregoing our own sovereignty to try to, you know, put someone else above us and making ourselves inferior or making it that our voice doesn't matter. All we're doing is perpetuating the system that we're trying to dismantle. That's all that we're doing. So honor your sovereignty, honor your body, honor your energy, honor your capacity Honor your truth. Your voice matters. It might be very different than someone else's, but your point of view and your opinion matters too. Everyone's opinion matters. We have space at the table for all of us. Yes, be willing to evolve, be willing to learn, be willing to be educated, be willing to ask questions, be willing to be curious, be willing to pivot. But I'm telling you, there's so much more than the one story that you're getting on Instagram. It doesn't mean that story is wrong. It doesn't. There are so much goodness there. There's so much truth there. And there's a whole other side that we're not seeing because we're getting told that if we agree with this, then we can't be that. And if this, 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 and then that, 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 like there's so much, you should, you should, you should, you should, assumption, assumption, assumption 
It's bullshit. We don't believe in that for religion. So why do we believe in that for politics? Why do we believe like this? There's so much here to unpack. This is going to take time. This is going to take grace. This is going to take being open. This is going to take unhooking. This is going to take work. But keep showing up and sharing your voice and get willing to be messy. Be willing to possibly stand alone sometimes. There are people that agree with you, I promise. Find safe spaces to be in conversation about this with. Find support groups. Listen to all sides. Be respectful. Be loving. But I promise you as a leader, as a white leader, I will continue to come back into my truth and speak from that space and to also hold space for your truth, even if it's different than mine. Whatever assumption you want to make about that, you do you. I have the capacity to hold both. And if you don't, I respect that. You can unfollow. I send you love. I wish you the best. But I can't be silent simply because some of what I believe is not the, ma- the majority think. It's not the group think. And daggers have already been thrown. Um, daggers, I'm sure, will continue to be thrown. But I also know there's a lot of people that feel the same way that I do and that feel terrified to say it. So how can we come together and be an open dialogue around this, be loving and compassionate around this? especially as like white women policing other white women right now. This is going, we need to honor where we're at. This is going to look different for all of us, each and every single one of us. Can you be with that? Can you honor that? I can, and I will. So I love you guys. Um, Zoom out, speak your truth, honor the role that you play. Stay within your capacity. Take time off if you need it. Unhook. You're doing an amazing job. You really are. So I love you guys. That's what I have for you. And if you want more, post below. Um, I'm going to leave you with that. I love you guys. Bye.